how would you define the culture or you you mentioned about kind of the internal spiritual uh thread how would you define that i think the fundamental uh just difference is that there's there isn't a separation between life and nature whereas it seems like in the western mindset there's been how would you define the culture or you you mentioned about kind of the internal spiritual uh thread how would you define that i think the fundamental uh just difference is that there's there isn't a separation between life and nature whereas it seems like in the western mindset there's been a really clear separation of what is this urban suburbia and then what is nature and nature has been sort of relegated to national parks and things like that and people think they go out to nature and the indigenous people live in nature so their home is made of nature and nature is literally outside and they get their food from nature and so they're part and parcel with nature and they live in balance with that nature and in a relative state of harmony with that nature uh, i wouldn't say it's totally harmonious because some aspects of it can be rather scary you know when you live in a place where you realize you still are part of the food chain <laughs> so if you know that you live in a place where there are animals that can eat you it kind of changes your mindset a little bit you know but other than that um that's i think really the the the, the big difference is that they just haven't separated from nature and that they believe nature is alive. And uh, they roughly translate the term spirit to that. Although I think it has a v vast difference in meaning to that of Western culture. I think with, when they're talking about spirit, they're talking about life force, which is a scientifically measurable concept and understanding. They say that tree has spirit and they mean that tree is alive. And they say that jaguar has spirit, that jaguar is alive. You have spirit, you're alive. They're not, um, they're not creating some cartoonish imagery in their mind or some ghost story or something like that. I think it's actually much more grounded in what we would think of as like energetic physics than uh, the way Westerners typically treat it. It's just sort of like, there's a big mystery out there and it's this forest and the forest is literally filled with that mystery. And uh, if you live out there far enough away from Western civilization long enough, you will meet that mystery. And uh, the forest you will realize is alive and is listening in many different ways. And that is quite a wild experience to live.